Yusuk was a man of many stories. Some said he was born in Africa, others said he was from Portugal. But one thing was certain, he was a man of incredible strength and skill. He first came to Japan as a servant of the Jesuit missionary, Alessandro Valignano, in the late 16th century. The Japanese people were fascinated by Yasuke's dark skin and towering height, which made him stand out in a sea of samurai. Yasuke quickly learned Japanese and became an important member of Valignano's mission. But it was his encounter with the powerful warlord, Oda Nobunaga, that changed his life forever. Nobunaga was a brutal and ambitious ruler who sought to unite all of Japan under his banner. When he saw Yasuke, he was immediately impressed by his physical prowess and appointed him as his personal bodyguard. Yasuke became the first foreign samurai in Japanese history. Yasuke fought alongside Nobunaga in many battles, his size and strength making him an unstoppable force on the battlefield. But his loyalty to Nobunaga was tested when the warlord was betrayed by one of his own generals. In a desperate last stand, Yasuke fought to defend Nobunaga but was ultimately forced to watch as his master took his own life. With Nobunaga gone, Yasuke was left adrift in a Japan that was torn apart by civil war. He traveled the country, offering his services as a warrior to anyone who would have him. But despite his formidable reputation, he was often rejected because of his foreign origin. Years later, Yasuke was approached by a powerful daimyo named Toyotomi Hideyoshi, who offered him a position as his personal bodyguard. Yasuke accepted and served Hideyoshi faithfully until the daimyo's death. He then retired from the life of a warrior and became a monk. Yasuke's story is one of resilience and determination. He overcame prejudice and adversity to become a respected member of Japanese society. His legacy as the first foreign samurai continues to inspire people around the world.